From starring in the record-breaking Netflix film Purple Hearts to his roles in the highly anticipated films like Bonds and Red, White and Royal Blue, Nicholas Galitzin has showcased a lot of outstanding performances. You just want to send me off to France to learn the ways of refinement and then return to marry some awful rich wife and milk her fat dowry. In the last recent months, Galitzin has solidified his presence in the industry with a string of successful projects. His involvement in these hit productions has not only boosted his popularity, but also significantly contributed to his wealth. Now he is currently garnering more significant attention for his role in The Idea of You, a movie based on a romantic novel of the same name by Robin Lee. In the film, he portrays Hayes Campbell, a boy band singer who's engaged in a fervent love affair with 40 years old Solene March and played by Anne Hathaway. I'm too old for you. I am not. Nicholas Galitzin was compensated $400,000 for his portrayal of Hayes Campbell. According to Showbiz Galore, Galitzin ranks as the second highest paid actor in the cast, trailing behind Anne Hathaway who received $7 million for her portrayal of Solene March. Okay, I'm sorry that I looked at Mrs. Riley and lightly grazed her left tit, all right? Move, you prick! <sighs> uh, excuse me, she said move, prick. Don't talk to me, you ugly bitch, okay? I do not talk to girls in overall. Bottoms, the hit comedy for young adults in 2023 was praised for its great plot and talented actors. Nicholas Galitzin, who played Jeff, made $80,000 for his role. The specialized website Showbiz Galore confirmed that the actor has positioned himself as the fifth highest paid cast member of the movie, with Rachel Senna taking the top spot with a payment of $250,000. I have a dream of taking somebody I loved here. And he loved it as much as I did. Red, White and Royal Blue was one of the major leading roles that Nicholas Galitzin landed and for which he was paid a good amount of money. Playing Prince Henry scored him a solid paycheck of $320,000. It was his second best payday yet. However, Taylor Zakhar Perez made even more, taking home $350,000 as the top earner from the project. Your lies reek almost as much as you do of the gutter and rust. I'm not lying. And I'm not the one touching other boys in front of you. Mary and George mark Nicholas' debut on television, and his performance in it is so remarkable that many believe he deserves recognition through awards. He earns $45,000 per episode for his portrayal of George Villiers, making him the second highest paid actor in the cast, after Julian Moore, who receives $250,000 per episode for her role as Mary. It appears that the British actor has been amassing significant earnings from his recent project, with indications pointing to Nicholas Galitzin's current net worth surpassing $1 million, as reported by The Sun and other media outlets. Which character played by Nicholas Galitzin do you believe should have been paid more? Drop your thoughts in the comments.